we are in just an unprecedented period in the period in the economy i've never seen anything like it and i would say that um this administration has sort of twice missed the chance to stop that kind of job loss from happening so the first time was we had a real jump on this virus it, it did not hit here first if we would have jumped on it quickly gotten in a real system of testing and contact tracing we would have been in the position where we wouldn't have had to do what we're doing now which is quarantine everyone essentially if we had a good system of testing and contact tracing we would be able to then know who either had the virus or may have the virus and quarantine just them so other people would be able to go on with you know more or less their regular lives and we could have avoided this massive job loss we did not do that but then the next time around we also could have avoided massive job loss with good policy so we had some peer countries in europe who were doing things like the uk announced very early on that they were going to pay businesses to pay their workers even if their workers weren't working so pay like up to 80% of people's salaries just to keep them on payroll and so what that means is that the businesses stay afloat and the workers stay afloat everyone just sort of goes into deep freeze and tell the virus is controlled that you can then turn the economy back on and start getting people back to work we didn't do that either and so we're facing this situation of just massive job loss and we still don't have a system of testing and tracing in place that would make it possible for us to successfully open the economy in the absence of a vaccine or an effective treatment so we're just prolonging the situation that we're in right now so it's been a real policy disaster sort of at every single turn here it's just, and the it's the working people of this country who are paying the price let's start with the most important promise government spending does not stimulate the economy i get i get so frustrated when i hear people talk about the stimulus bills i mean th those bills don't stimulate anything right because the government can only spend a dollar if it takes a dollar from someone else so there's no stimulus effect from government spending now that's not to say we shouldn't have passed those aid bills those were aid bills to help people who are struggling but on aggregate it, it doesn't uh, help the economy grow. It is so important to begin bringing people back to work in a safe way. How many workers should give their lives to increase the GDP or the Dow Jones by a thousand points? You no know, workers should give their lives to do that, Mr. Senator, and I think your characterization is unfair. This is the biggest response by Congress ever and the fastest and the biggest from us. And still, this is the biggest shock we have seen in living memory. And the question looms in the air of, is it enough? We are still deteriorating. But once things do bottom out and we start to improve, we'll be in a situation where even if we added a million jobs a month, which would be just unheard of speed of a bounce back, we would never dream of being able to get something like that. But if we did, it would still take on the order of two years to get back to where we were before. It's just, we've done just, just this incredible amount of damage. So it's, it's going to be, a long haul, I think, coming out of it. I do think it will be, and I, I'm hoping we won't have an L-shaped recovery. I do think we'll get, you know, things will will improve. But I, I, I am, you know, in the absence of getting in pretty short order vaccine or effective treatment, which I don't think anyone is really expecting, it's going to be a long haul.